So pe when people sl slice, they're losing the pressure here with the wrists, the elbow, they're going internal. Don't lose the pressure. Now set up to it. Nice half swing with some speed. Okay, one four inside, perfect. All right, today I'm getting a swing checkup. We've got a lot of great golf coming to the channel this year and I wanna play my very best. So today we are here at Trump Edminster. Brian Dobby. Hey Mike, how are you? Teaching pro, I'm doing great, I'm doing great, I'm excited. Like I said, we've got a lot of great golf coming up this year. I've been working on a lot of things. I know I'm over the top, I've been working with coaches on it. But I just wanted to come here and kind of swing for you, have you dissect me and say, all right Mike, this is what I think you need to work on and give me a couple of good tips. Sounds good, Mike. What I want you to start out with first, I want you to hit a couple wedges, a couple seven irons, and a couple drivers. I want to get some numbers on you, see what your pattern is, and we'll take it from there. Love it, easy enough, let's go. That's it, hit another one. Good, now Mike, let me ask you a question. What kind of ball flight do you prefer when you're out playing? Right to I, left, left to right? I'll tell you what I usually hit. It's usually a left to right, it's a fade. My miss is a slice especially with coming over, coming across the ball. Um, on these clubs, on some of these shorter clubs, I usually see a little bit of a draw. And that's what I'd like to see, and I'd love to see that flight throughout the bag if possible. Okay, and, and as the club gets longer, the ball starts to Absolutely. curve more to the that's right. that's it. Okay, great. As I swing faster, maybe, is that the reason why? I guess we'll see. We'll see, <laughs> okay. we'll see. Good, and why don't you get your driver now? We'll hit your driver. All right, Mike, so let's go back to that um, pitching wedge. And I just want to check where the club's going now, okay? <laughs> What's the, how the club is traveling around your body. So here we have a path of minus 5 degrees, minus 4.9, and minus 2.8. So your, your club is traveling across the ball as it comes into the ball. So if we go to 7-iron, club path is 8 degrees left. 10 degrees left and five degrees left. So I always look for the red flag, okay? okay? What, what, if you're trying to hit a little draw, okay, we're, we're gonna have to attack the path, okay? Uh -huh. It's too, too out to in across the ball. So, so we're, we're trying to get your path a little bit more inside today. So, right. so what influences the path, okay? Number one, put, put your right arm out like this, okay? So this is internal shoulder rotation, elbow, internal. I want you to think, a little, give me a little external bend mm -hmm. and dorsiflexion. Now what yeah. happened to your right arm? It's shortened or shortened, lengthened? It's yeah. shortened, yeah. okay? So I want you to focus on this arm a little bit when you grip the club, I want a little bit of X bent and back, okay? okay? We're gonna try to shorten your arc a little bit so as you come into it, you approach the ball more from the inside as a, a little bit to the outside, okay? okay. T so typically, um, there's three ways we can lose the path through our wrists coming over, our elbow coming over, going internal rotation or the shoulder. You know, high right shoulder, high right hip, the path is gonna jump, right. so we're kinda, getting you to feel this is external, down, and back, so we can kind of preset your arm to come into the ball this way. Now I'm gonna give you a drill to help your impact, okay? Let's switch sure. for a second. You're, sure. the you're the teacher. Got it. You stand there. So here's, here's the drill for you, okay? You're gonna hold the club in your right hand, okay? Connect your left hand to your ribs and connect your right arm to it, right mm -hmm. here. There's a pressure point right here. So I want some half swings here for you and really feeling like you're not losing that connection coming through the ball, okay? Okay. So you lose the connection here and you That's get it. a little out, okay? So your path is gonna go that way. So I want you to grab the rib cage, connect a little bit, half swing, drive that through. So that hand right on the hip, okay. on the, the ribs, just right there, that connection, mm -hmm. okay? Now, you're gonna just set the club right from there. Feel how that's above your wrist joint? Mm -hmm. Good, look at the ball. Now, I want you to feel like all this is coming through underneath that way, okay? Right. So show me that practice swing. Just bottom out from there uh, and go through. Good, do it again. Go through. Good. Now extend, extend through as um, you come through. Come on. Good. Go through. Good. Good. You, f you feel it really yeah. underneath? Yeah, I do. Good. Now set up to it. Two hands on the club. 
Good, now feel, feel that impact as you come through. Nice half swing with some speed. Let's see how that path was. Okay, one four inside, perfect. This, way better, come yeah. on. Now, let's do that drill again. So just to review, you're gonna hold it in your right hand, connect this mm -hmm. right here, get it to here. Don't lose the pressure point. Don't lose the pressure point and swing through, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Swing back halfway. Good. Now get through the get through. Go go. That's it. All right. You feel the, where the path is yeah. as it approaches the ball. Yep. All right. Now grip. Take your grip. Oh, nice. Point eight. Very good. So, Mike. Now we're pushing the path the way we want it, okay? Great. So the next step for you is what's the club face doing, yeah. okay? So first step in fixing you is how the club's traveling around your body as it approaches the ball, mm -hmm. okay? The second thing is we're gonna focus on the face a little bit. Can we get you to get into the ball here with a square face, okay, as opposed to this, all mm -hmm. right? You know, so in your mind, can you start the ball a little bit to the right of your target line? Got it with the club face, okay? Right, because naturally with that path, it'll be a nice draw that would end up correct, in the middle. Correct, correct. Good, Mike, zero degrees on the path. Okay. okay we're really starting to push yeah. the path more inside the ball, which is the first step for you trying to hit draws, okay? Your body's like a tripod. If we set right. the tripod to move in a certain way, we can help influence the path. Getting this pressure point right here with your arm and your ribs, right around here, don't lose the pressure. So pe when people sl slice, they're losing the pressure here with the wrists, the elbow, they're going internal, shoulder rotation, like that, like this. So we're just, we're just flipping it around to get you a feeling of approaching the ball from the inside with a little external here and then you didn't let it go. That's gonna be your drill. Well, hey, Brian, thank you. This has been awesome. It's amazing how one little tip can go so far and I'll be working on this and then I'm gonna come back and do driver. All Great. Right. All right. Great. Thanks. You're welcome.